Well, she's uh, together. I haven't finished it yet. I've still got to put the exhaust port uh, pipe here. I'll use a bit of brass, make up a little sort of a stubby bit of brass, same as the inlet. But anyway, that's how it is. I've changed my mind. I think I'll leave this in there. Just basic aluminium. Not Don't paint it because I think it would be better this way. But anyway, put the air on. And we'll see how she goes. Ooh, look at that. She's away. It's running on about five psi. That's not too bad. Nice and smooth. Crank her up. Well, you can see it's not bad on vibration. Pretty good. So there you go. I mean, these are not difficult to make. But you have to align everything you know, reasonably well. You can't have too much run out. But, um, yeah. Interesting little, little motor, little engine. Down the back here, I've... Uh, Just got that little adjuster spark plug knob on. There's a spring I found. Yeah, cool. Now, when, when you do these, there's one, the one part that is a bit difficult. Well, it could be difficult unless you do it the right way. And that is, you're going to have um, one port in this oscillator which goes into the, the cylinder chamber. And that feeds and also exhausts. So it's a, it goes both directions. As the piston goes up and down, so it, it sucks the... Uh, it blows the air in and then it pushes it back out again. So that's basically all there is to it. And the oscillator pump basically aligns that port with two ports in this back section. One is the exhaust and one is the inlet. Now, you have to align those, those little ports up precisely to make this thing work. And the easy way to do it is, or the way I do it, is with this. It's a little bit of a nail of brad, the same diameter as the as the airflow port. Okay, so that port goes down and it comes out at 90 degrees. This one goes in and comes out at 90 degrees. So there's two ports on the face. And what you do is you put you get your bit of nail and you put it in the port on the the piston and then you before you you know obviously it's disassemble when you do this you then mark the face of this with sharpie pen okay so this has got sharpie pen on it the brad is in the in the hole you've got in the cylinder you haven't drilled these holes here yet you don't know where to drill them so with the brad poking out just slightly from the face, you know, cut this the length that it will, just so it will stand proud a bit. Assemble it and then turn it over. And when you do that, it will then oscillate the the piston cylinder assembly, 
and the little brad will scribe a mark, a, a semicircle, in the black texture pen. And that will show you the full arc that the, that the port in the piston cylinder assembly is going to go in. And on the ends of the arc, that's where you drill your two holes. On each end of the arc, you drill your holes and it will then line up perfectly with the, with the, uh, the piston cylinder assembly. So obviously when you, do, you know, when you do this, you just do it lightly. You don't have to go hard. Just so it marks that texture pen and then pull it apart, drill your two ports and you're good to go. So there you go. hope that helps you. Um, easy, easy way to do it. Works every time, no problem whatsoever. And uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, now I'll just push on, do the exhaust port, paint it. I think I'll just paint the base. We'll leave this as aluminium. And uh, so I might do that dark green. And then with a nice stone wooden base, it should look okay. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Cheers.